A corner then, and with time running out, they've got to ask questions. Just... Oh, a goal! An equaliser in the closing stages! Well, here's the replay, and you can see why he's upset. He got something on it, but not enough to keep it out. That's frustrating for a keeper. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Simon Kujo, and on this episode, I'm about to show you how to score directly from a corner kick in FIFA 23. However, if you are new to this channel, please do well to like this video and subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss any of my videos. Now, we all know that in FIFA 23, scoring free kicks and corner kicks are something that we would all wish we had um a spectacular idea about so in this video i'll break it down to you and help you to score more of these goals in fifa 23 when you get the chance mind you this tactics will only work 90 to 100 percent of the time depending on the player you decide to choose to take the corner kick and the player's stats and also how your opponent decide to position their goalkeeper when you are about to take the corner kick talking about the player stat the first thing you should look out for is a player that has a short power of about 90 and above and a curve of about 85 and above so in this situation or in this example rashford fits the example or the type of player that we need to take this corner kick he's right footed and has a higher pace that is more than 90 and a curve that is 85 now that we have selected the player that we want to use to take this corner kick the next thing we would have to do is to aim so you aim around the 18 yard box but it looks as though you've divided the 16 yard box into two you do this by tilting the right analog stick a little bit to your right or to your left depending on the position in which the player is facing to take the corner kick this will ensure the amount of curl or curves you put on the ball and bear in mind that this doesn't work for outside foot so you always have to use a player that is going to use their inside foot to play the ball and also curl the ball now that we know where to aim the next thing to do is to shoot the ball all you have to do now is to press the shoot button and fill the whole bar to four bars once all these are done correctly you then score a corner kick directly into the goal post earlier on i talked about how your opponent positioned their goalkeeper to help you to score a corner kick directly into the goal post in this example you can see that my opponent kept moving his keeper in and out of the goal post this is a clear indication or an advantage for me to score a corner kick directly into the goal post in this circumstance you realize i don't even need a player that has a stat of 90 and above for power shot and 85 and above for curve you can tell that alaba's card has no uh, statistics that fits what i mentioned earlier on but because the player or the, my opponent was moving their keeper in and out of the goal pool i was able to score a very nice corner kick directly into the goal pool that is just to say that the power shot or the shot power accuracy of a player and the curve is crucial and very much important when the opponent keeper is stuck into the goal post this is because when you hit the ball it goes directly into the goal post and if the keeper tries to catch it due to the shot power or the power of the shot the player might the keeper might not be able to catch the ball or any player in the goal post that decides to help the ball out of the goal post might end up heading it into the goal post and the keeper might also end up pointing it into the goal post or catching the ball and then putting it back into the goal post thank you very much for watching this video kindly smash the like button and please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more tutorial videos i'll catch you up in my next episode bye bye